Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And today I just wanted to talk about a topic that's been on my mind. Because essentially, like, I do social media and I blog and so on. So I'm constantly looking at, like, content. Um, and one thing that I've been noticing um, are people who are seeking God for, like, the wrong reasons. And this, is, this may not be on purpose. They just may be, like, very ignorant to, you know, what everything is all about so like that's what this video is um about today so i don't plan to offend anyone that's not the the objective here but at the end of the day i do felt i do feel like this was a much needed video at the time um like i said i'm a blogger i'm a youtuber i post things on instagram that like inspire me that have to do with my faith things that i love like fashion makeup blase blase um, but a lot of people, when I see God reference on the internet, it's like, oh, God has given me this so many blessings. But it's like a God that requires no obedience at the end of the day. So I want to call this video, Seek His Face, Not His Hands. And it was crazy because I was having this um, conversation with my boyfriend. And he brought that up. And he said, like, that was a sermon at one point, like, a long time ago. And I'm like, that is so good like well explained so let's just get into this video so i want to start out by reading a verse let me get to it let me let me get to it let me get to it let me, let me get to it um so this is in the book of psalms um and it's psalm 111 verse 10 the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom all who follow his precepts have good understanding to him belongs eternal praise um so when you think about like fearing someone you kind of like have respect for them either way like it can be like oh my gosh like this person is so big and powerful like i i i'm so i know that they're so powerful that i can't even touch them they're untouchable at the end of the day um and we know that it's not the type of fear of great i cannot approach this person when it comes to god there's two types of um sides so unbelievers should fear the wrath of god but then believers should also fear god so if you know like if you grew up in like a black household and you know you did something wrong like you fear your mom's beating like you know good and well you were going to get uh beat down at the end of the day let me know if you are the only one who didn't um get beatings but i know i sure did um so basically when you think of that um you think that's how fear is related to like the believer because you know that god hates sin at the end of the day there are consequences and that's where the fear comes in so we know and it's a it's a sense of like respect that we know how powerful he is we know the consequences um so therefore we have this big fear of god so going back to the verse it says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom all who follow his precepts have good understanding so it's like at the end of the day you can't really fear someone or have any respect for someone if you don't know anything about them so we simply cannot worship someone we have no idea about we don't know anything about them we don't know what commandments we uphold we don't know anything about them um so at the end of the day it's like you have to ask yourself am i truly worshiping god like i said this is maybe like just based on like ignorance like you may not know um but it is accessible that's the great thing so if you take a look at Proverbs um, 2 verse 6, it says, For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So when it comes to wisdom, it's not like worldly wisdom, like something we read from a book or, you know, or anything like that. At the end of the day, it comes from his word. That's how we get to know God um, and how powerful he is. So it all starts there. That's how you learn to walk in his ways. That's how you learn um, to have much more of a respect um, and to know and have like that biblical perspective um, because like I said maybe some people may just be like ignorant to it all but at the end of the day do you want to just live your whole life thinking that you're worshiping something and you're not so it's like at least it's accessible um, and just know that he 
is looking for obedience too. He's not looking just to give out blessings from each hand, <laughs> like um, to every each and every one. And um, a lot of the things that we say that our blessings are like materialistic things. And truth is, if you look in the book of Matthew chapter five and you look at the Beatitudes at the end of the day, nothing is materialistic that he names. It says, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. It's nothing like materialistic, like God blessing you with a business or with money. And those things are blessings, but like I said, it shouldn't be the reason why we are seeking him. So I hope and pray that anyone who sees this video today who is like, hmm, like, oh, am I really worshiping God? And like I said, it's not to offend anyone, but at the end of the day, I don't want anyone to think that you are like worshiping him and you're not. You have to um, be obedient. Like that's a requirement at the end of the day. Um, that is a requirement. It's not a choice. So I hope that everyone enjoys this video. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. See you, see you in the next one. See you, see you, see you, see you in the next one.